maybe trash it so I don't use that clamp again. Um, no, Hokey, I'm, I kept it because I have a welder now. I could possibly fix it. Because I still have the little broken part, I just need to weld it back together. Oh, we might have another one that's stuck. Oh, no, there, there it goes. Oh, it's starting to fall down. I don't want it to fall down. Okay, yeah. I was hoping tapping it would cause it to break free of the magnet, but no, apparently not enough. Wait, what happened? Did something... I feel like I missed something there. I think it might have scrolled off screen already. Okay, let's get that valve out. Squirrel! Exhaust two. Oh, here's a Sonic song. All right. And now, number one. Now, I apologize, guys. I'm having to move the camera so I can actually get in here with my body weight. Oh, that one... Oh, that came out really super nice. Burnt maroon and Chicago orange are Virginia Tech's colors, and Hokey is their mascot. Okay, exhaust one. Okay, now let's get the valve out. And it's crazy. The only reason why we're taking the valves out right now is so I can properly port the head. Gonna be insane. Now, one of the other things that I plan on doing here is I am going to be deshrouding the valves. Um, that actually grinds in the combustion chamber itself. So it's making me wonder: Can I effectively lower my compression ratio by grinding out a certain amount? Because the lower compression ratio on a turbo motor, the, the, you can make more power and it's less prone to detonation. 
The entity named the hokey bird is a turkey, but the word hokey has nothing to do with the animal. See, so I grew up in central North Carolina, so the big rivalry there was always Duke and UNC, both of them different shades of blue. And it was just one of those deals of, you know, you had to be wearing that color blue. Like you had to have your team's blue, right? I'm sorry, just scrubbing a lot of this oil crap off my hands again. All right. Um, and it to make it worse, um, my stepdad uh, was a fan of University of Kentucky, and their their colors are also white and blue, but it's a completely different blue than any of the North Carolina blues, you know. So. Uncle lives in Chapel Hill. I lived in the town north of Chapel Hill called Hillsboro. That's where I grew up. So if you if you have driven down to Chapel Hill, you probably drove right past Hillsboro because the highway goes right through it, the main highway. Yep. Chesapeake, I've, I'm trying to think, I didn't, like, we never really went up north much, um, my family, we always went down to Myrtle Beach for, like, summer vacation stuff, or just stayed at home, or drove up to Minnesota to see my grandparents, uh, the Minnesota trips, though, because of the distance, it was, a little bit rare, like every other year or something like that. Or we would come up here for the holidays and then come back or whatever. Yeah, I think part of the reason why I'm having a little bit of difficulty with some of these retainers and stuff are simply because this thing's literally been in this motor since it was made and it's never been disassembled like I'm doing it. So I'm pretty sure that they're pretty well worn or something, right? So pulling everything out and Cleaning everything up is definitely going to be a nice thing. South of Jamestown and Williamsburg. Yeah, see, again, like, I never... For me, Virginia was always a just a pass-through state. We never actually had a reason to stop there. Um, yeah, like, we would, we, would, we would go through Virginia and West Virginia on the way to Kentucky to see my, my stepdad's grandparents. And then we would, um, yeah, I mean, that, that was it. Um, I don't, yeah, we didn't ever, yeah. Like, I never really stopped in Virginia at all. Okay, so this is intake one. Wait. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have them completely backwards. All the ones that I marked exhaust were actually the intake valves. Shit. Okay. Well, let me fix that now. <laughs> 